Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with a reaction to some trailers of Punishing Grey Raven. Now a little bit of context here. Uh, from the title you must have guessed I am a Honkai Impact and a Genshin Impact player. I play both of them. And I've been playing Honkai for a long while. It's been a year and Genshin was is very recent and uh like i like in the end I, i'm like you know in the middle of it i kind of stopped playing genshin for a moment because of lack of time and now i have started again in a, a, a couple of days ago so yeah that's the context here i am pretty familiar with you know the way like you know these type of games go so that's why i like after watching punching gray wavens the little bits and pieces of the gameplay i was very impressed with it you know like it there is something like you know there is something in the movements of the characters and all that i found really attractive i don't know why like you know it was so smooth and everything like you know like it like it was a different type of feeling than playing honkai impact that's why i always had like you know uh like i looked out for the time when it would probably be released on global like i have have had my eyes on this game for quite a while and recently I got to know that this is getting a global release so obviously I'm going to like start it when it releases and I'll probably make some videos on it as well so before that uh, I'm probably I like I'm going to get like you know accustomed to everything and so that's why I'm going to react to the trailers now obviously because I do not have any idea what this like you know what this is about and all I selected three videos there's there's this one video i think it's called uh, endless war trailer another video which is like a short anime pv of gray raven jp and another video which is called global release announcement trailer concept teaser wake me up these three videos now like since i'm going in blind i have no idea like if i miss something that i should have reacted to you can let me know in the comment section and make a separate video on it no but these three are the uh, like you know the trailers and the like short animations that i'm going to react to today so yeah so yeah without further ado let's get started and i'll be linking down the original videos in the description box and i also don't know if there will be any kind of copyright problems or not for the music or for the video if there are copyright problems i might have to edit things out you know the i might have to move the audio or uh the video i might have to blur it i'm not sure because i'm recording it now like after editing and uploading i will be able to understand what actually happens so yeah so anyways um without further ado let's get started with the reaction i'll have a little bit small little discussion after I, all the reactions end so yeah all right so i'm going to first react to punishing gray raven um endless war trailer this is a three minutes video let's get started all right here we go start Kudo game. Oh. The tone of the game is quite dark, isn't it? Virus, punishing virus. Oh, what the hell? Is this like a dystopian society or something, you know, like where everything has gone wrong or something? We can see little cyborgs here. What are these things? Oh. Is there any subtitles? I can understand what they're saying, like, you know, bits and pieces. I won't forget to forget you. Whatever future is waiting, I am not afraid. Oh my god. We'll definitely meet again in the future. I've been waiting for you for so long. War is something that I must return to. Wow. Okay, here it is. Like, you know, this gameplay I'm, I'm talking about. This, like, you know, I was really impressed with the way everything moves so smoothly, you know? 
like this is some really good gameplay mechanics and we have we can see a sword type of thing a gun um this really reminds me of near automata you know the whole like you know the setting is very like reminding of near automata system overload self destruct uh, one minute oh that that girl looks like bronya <laughs> oh my god this girl reminds me of someone who does she remind me of oh i think uh, i've not seen the anime i think ruby uh, there's one girl who looks like her isn't there like i've not seen ruby obviously but i've seen like you know uh, the characters so oh wow that was interesting okay all right that's the first i'm guessing this will be copyright protected because of the song i might have to mute the video uh, audio all right so next one uh, this is uh, punishing gray raven jp short anime pv and i'm not afraid of spoilers because i think i will probably not be able to understand anything what's happening you know because I have no clue what this is actually about. I, I kind of had a little bit of clue, uh, like, you know, after seeing this video. I'm guessing this is some kind of a dystopian society, just like, like, near automata, you know? Uh, okay, I'll talk about it later on. Let's just first react to it. All right. So, this is a short anime PV. Start. Oh, we have a song here. Wow. Yeah, this world is really remind me of near automata yeah we have that girl i'm guessing she's one of the main characters and th that guy is, is also here and that another girl as well yeah i think these two are the main characters or something oh damn <laughs> oh he uses a whip or something like the thing from oh this guy uses gun Whoa! <laughs> Lightning! Wow! Okay, what, what does she, this girl use? Some kind of cannon beam? Wow! Okay! Okay, I'm guessing this is more like an opening song, isn't it? Yeah. So this is a villain, isn't it? The guy. Damn, the, the character designs are very interesting as well. And also the weapon design and all, you know. Oh, there are two other. Whoa. Whoa, look at the character designs. Uh... Oh, damn, that was great. Okay. Is that it? Yeah. Okay, that was really interesting. I loved it. Okay, I'll talk about it after I uh, react to the ending trailer. This is called uh, Punishing Grey Raven Global Release Announcement Trailer. Concept Teaser Wake Me Up. Okay, I'm guessing this is some, have, this have, uh, this is have some kind of global release announcement. Let's see. Let me awake you from the deep sea. It's too late when everything gets destroyed and vanishes. Don't fall asleep, focus on me. Whoa, there's like... Yeah, everything's like destroyed. What was that? Oh, whoa. Damn, the song! <laughs> oh, music, whatever. Oh, I'm guessing the teaser is for this girl. Bring me to life. Okay. Excuse me. Yeah, these are the main characters, I'm guessing. The, you know, blue horned guy. And this red haired girl.
this girl really looks cool you know like with her twin tails and like you know red and black hair oh who is that I don't know. it's the same girl isn't it yeah wake me up okay Punishing Grey Raven, haha. <laughs> oh my god, I can't wait for this to come out. Alright, that's the end, I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay, so now, the discussion here. First thing that I want to mention here is, this really reminded me of Nier Automata. Uh, I've played Nier Automata, and in my opinion, Nier Automata is one of the masterpieces that the gaming, you know, the gaming uh, industry could ever produce. It, it, it's such a great game. Each and everything of Nier Automata, I love it. It's, it's like, you know, like the, the message and everything, the storyline and the, the atmosphere of everything, the, the, the soundtrack, the soundtrack is the biggest thing. Oh my God, like I love Nier Automata and I am really liking, like, you know, I'm really liking the fact that the, the atmosphere and the you know the setting here is kind of reminding me of that you know of Rima, uh, near automata uh you know the whole thing with I'm, I'm guessing we can we could see some kind of cyborgs or some kind of robots that were kind of roaming around and like looking at it that way probably this is some kind of uh mm, like post-apocalyptic has a post-apocalyptic setting some kind of dystopian society or whatever and like you know like this like society is uh ruled by robots or something and there are some people who were controlling those robots or i don't know like probably something like that and there are these like the, the characters that we are seeing are probably some kind of rebels or something <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i'm just like you know kind of guessing and uh, stuff but yeah and um also like you know like another thing I, I mentioned this before as well the gameplay um i watched watched a few gameplay videos because i really wanted to like you know i, I heard punishing grain even uh, uh like a lot of people talking about it while i was playing honkai impact when i've started honkai impact um, it i saw a lot of people talking about it and i decided to go check it out and saw that you know so, saw a few gameplay videos how the you know the fighting mechanics work and i remember the enemies being so huge and they have like multiple health bars isn't it like there's this like uh there's this multiplication sign and they, like there's this like 10 or 20 written that like there's like 20 <laughs> different health bars even though the health bars kind of go down quickly but still like no there's like this kind of uh it gives us a feeling of the enemy being so strong and you being so insignificant in front of the enemy like you know you're this little kind of a character with little swords and little guns kind of slashing hacking and slashing at a huge enemy which has like 20 or 30 health bars <laughs> like damn <laughs> but still as i said like obviously like it's not so like you know tough i'm guessing the health bars kind of go down quickly compared to other like you know other uh, enemy uh, like you know in other games the enemy's health bar but still like it gives like that kind of a feeling that whoa like this this enemy it has like uh, 50 health bars damn like how am i going to defeat it <laughs> something like that you know but yeah anyways and also another thing is like the movements the uh you know the gameplay mechanics and everything i really liked it and i've heard i'm not sure like you can correct me down if i'm wrong i've heard the gacha is very generous and that is something that also kind of you know um me like you know that gave like you know that gave me a little bit of uh what can i say a hope that yeah probably we're like you know whichever character i like i probably be able to get them because most of the games you know most of the gacha games um be it fgo especially fgo <laughs> genshin and i'll not take honkai's name here because honkai has a very unique type of a gacha system which i think uh, like you know even though you cannot get the weapon or stigmatas if you are unable to save for them you can probably get the cactus if you really save those like you know those uh, crystals those extras that honkai gives out so honkai is a little bit more generous in my opinion comparing it to other games 
but still i'm not so sure like uh like you know about this game but i've heard that it's quite generous as well so that's a, another thing that really like you know attracted me to like checking this out uh, if it gets a global release and it's going to get a global release so i'm really happy another game like i wanted to mention it again here as well like another game that i am also looking forward to when it will get a global release i don't know but i'm also really looking forward to is um blue archive blue archive and yeah i'm also looking forward to it. i tried playing arc knights but arc knights required a lot of strategy you know and um yeah i am not good with those so i kind of like you know uh like played it for quite a while but i was not really like you know because i was unable to clear some <laughs> clear some missions you know and i'm this kind of like a completionist who has to like clear the all the stars you know like otherwise there's like this itching inside me and like because of that i kind of like uh, and also because of lack of time you know like i play fgo and honkai and genshin as well so like because of lack of time as well i stopped it now like but uh, i also want to check out blue archive when it comes out uh and also this game i'm guessing obviously this game is coming out a lot sooner i think it's coming out somewhere in summer 2021 it's not like there's no uh specific date i'm guessing but it just said that summer 2021 i'm guessing uh, i think the beta testing is over or has it started i'm not sure or something like that so it's quite close i'm guessing so yeah that's a good thing so yeah and my opinion on the trailers and the you know it's it's quite like obviously i was unable to understand anything but the only thing that i could understand here is this has a setting of as i said before like some kind of robotic setting like these like there's this kind of these like you know huge wastelands and like there's these robots kind of stray robots i'm guessing they're kind of roaming around and something and that this these like i'm guessing an organization or something like we saw a few characters in the end who the main characters were fighting with so something like that i'm not sure but yeah and i think this like there's this one thing they call something punishing virus or something what was that like something along that that line it was mentioned yeah like now that i'm noticing it again there's this i think i think there's this orphanage as well isn't it this is an orphanage the first trailer that i saw oh okay like i'm like i think like this like this as i said like this is some kind of war was happening obviously punishing gray raven and this the trailer's name is endless war so i'm guessing there's like some kind of war happening as well at the same time and there's we can see an orphanage uh people in the hospital and and these kind of mutant robots or something there, there's a lot of people who were kind of like you know uh, on the streets as well like you know the like some police force was kind of stopping them like something like that i'm guessing i don't know like that's all i got from the trailers and this has, so this is like a has a war setting a post apocalyptic setting something like that you know uh, a science fiction setting i'm not sure but uh we can see robots here so probably some kind of you know like we'll see some kind of robot like things or like you know just like near automata had them so yeah that was great uh that was fantastic i saw these three trailers uh the one was a short anime pv i think and the, uh, the other two were trailers now here's the thing if i missed something obviously because i don't know like you know i don't even i didn't even know what i'm reacting to like this is completely blind that i'm going in so if there's something that i missed and you want me to react to in a separate video you can comment down below and i'll check them out you know and i'll make a separate video on it and i'll check them out so yeah i'm quite excited and when it comes out i'll probably make some videos on my gameplay you know uh my f when i play the game as well so yeah so yeah guys that's it uh that was it that was my reaction to these three trailers of punishing gray raven uh really excited for the global release and i hope it comes soon you know <laughs> quite excited so yeah thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to the trailers of punishing gray raven 
and uh, oh i i did not talk about um like you know like uh, i wanted to talk about this as well like my impressions on this after watching this and um my impressions on how honkai and genshin works now okay like i'll talk about that again like uh, for a little bit now uh before ending the video now uh honkai obviously honkai impact it is very fast paced you know very fast paced it is uh like you know like these kind of like huge like you know super power not super powers but huge uh, techniques and everything like you know like completely slashing uh like you know <laughs> the, the the atmosphere with your lightning blade or making like you know making a black hole and like you know like like m making like these kind of need needles come out like kiana's power you know those like uh the dimensional the, the power that she uses and obviously like the all the other powers like it's very what can i say like uh like <sighs> what's the right word it's very um impactful you know impactful fast paced that's on kind impact like you know like like the, the enemy is attacking you are dodging attacking dodging attacking using your ultimate power like switching characters you, you know kind of debuffing the enemy and again switching characters and using your ultimate technique and like you know that type fast placed uh, action and very quick battle so that's honkai impact and i love that i really love that genshin impact on the other hand it has a very you know um i'm guessing it will slowly transform into honkai impact as time goes on you know like like honkai impact also started really tame you know like there's this like i remember like when honkai impact started um kiana was the you know kiana may and bronya they were the characters who we first got and sakura and so <laughs> Kiana only like you know used the guns and used uh, like you know cat paw Bronya with her cannon May only used her like you know <laughs> sword and obviously like Sakura was uh, also using her katana that was it like you know like no like in, nothing and now like look at Honkai now oh my god like <laughs> like I won't be like you know I won't be surprised if like some like you know like like something like totally devastating like you know a character comes in who completely wrecks the whole place like that's what's actually happening after like you know a husher of uh sentinels came after husher of thunder came like <laughs> it's chaos now like you know and i love it like this type of like you know huge impactful gameplay that's why i'm saying like as the time goes on i'm guessing genshin will also kind of become like that it's going to transform into that like you know that kind of huge superpower kind of like you know attacks and super techniques and stuff and another like you know like uh, like genshin is like obviously genshin is great because of its like open world and everything but at the same time it's like battle like you know the battle and everything it's a bit lacking comparing it to honkai as i as i'm saying and i think comparing it to honkai is a bit not fair because honkai is how many years three years almost has been going on so it it has improved a lot you know it has like slowly like uh like you know like changed uh, as i said like the first of honkai was also very tame compared to its now what's happening so like it has changed as time went on so that's why like as i'm saying like it's comparing genshin to honkai is not fair in a way because Genshin is a completely different thing like it's an open world game you know in full open world you can like you know like you can explore and stuff so I'm guessing the battle mechanics are also a lot different here and yeah but like I love like both of them I love it like I'm not comparing it to each other but it's just like a little bit of a thing that like you know uh, obviously we every one of us can see and I'm sure like Genshin will also evolve as time goes on you know? it'll take a Honkai impact kind of um, like a setting like you know like uh, thing that happens so yeah now punishing Grey Raven obviously the things that I'm talk going to talk about here are from my major knowledge of what I saw from the trailers and my impressions on it i think it's a lot similar to honkai isn't it i might be wrong i'm not sure it's a lot like you know these kind of like uh small little stages where we're probably going to fight i'm not sure i i think it's something like that like i doubt it i don't think this is an open world is it you know like open world in sense i'm talking about like comparing it to genshin like not that type of open world it has like you know i'm guessing it will have a little bit of space where you can kind of roam around but still so i'm guessing it's this is more like honkai impact in that way 
and the battle like the fighting also really reminded me of like Honkai but here but here I'm guessing the here the battle like you know the way you were fighting and everything is a lot raw you know what do I mean by raw uh, I mean that it's very like you know uh, like what can I say um, dependent on your sword techniques and everything like you know you you're just hacking and slashing with a weapon with a sword a katana or you're shooting with a gun or using a cannon whereas obviously home comparing it to Honkai Honkai has that as well Honkai started like that but as as I said as time went on it became a lot different now we have these kind of like you know like making uh, thunderballs you know make it like summoning a dragon and completely wrecking havoc like making a cyclone and using dragon like you know lightning dragon breath on them like it has become more like you know this kind of power thing uh, not power sorry uh, more like a special techniques thing like how much special technique you know how much special effect it has like uh like these kind of things but comparing it to that uh, i can say like punishing gray raven probably from the tra trailers that i saw it's more like hand to hand like you know you you have this kind of a, a sword or a weapon you 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 use that weapon to like defeat the enemies you slash you know use your different techniques with that sword uh, obviously it has some kind like you know special effects super powers like those type of things i'm sure it has those but it's a lot lesser compared to honkai now that honkai is you know the state that honkai is now so that will be another thing that i'm quite excited for because you know like when you will fight with these characters it will seem as if like you know you feel that impact of the sword hitting the enemy and like there's there's a different type of uh what can i say fun in that you know a different type of a fun where you like fight like that you know like that kind of raw power using your raw power to fight so i don't know like this it's a weird feeling but i hope i am able to express it <laughs> you know so yeah um like all of these obviously like are from my major knowledge that i got from watching the trailers i might be wrong you know and yeah so in short obviously i love all the games like you know genshin honkai all of these games and i love them all so yeah let's see you know let's see how like you know how this game is as well uh so yeah so when it comes out obviously so yeah anyway so yeah i'll end this video here now so thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say or you know any kind of suggestions and anything just be sure to comment below if you have uh, like some kind of tips or you know like or, oh, or if you have any suggestions that i missed some kind of trailers or something uh, if i miss something you can also like comment down below i'll check make a separate video on it and check them out later on so yeah thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next video so until then goodbye and have a nice day